Hey YouTube, Shelko4 here. So today I want to talk to you about an easy way to figure out if you've got a bad panel. And first off, the disclaimer is don't do this. Uh, if you're an electrician and know what the heck you're doing, then uh, I guess go for it. But if you're Joe Q Public, uh, this is a, an FYI, do at your own risk. There's a lot of voltage going on here. But if at some point you uh, figure out that, hey, my array is not performing up to standard, and you're starting to think that you've got a bad panel, the question is, without disconnecting and metering every uh, panel in your string, how do you do the math and figure out what, what might be wrong? So uh, this is my array here, and it's actually, uh, you're looking at three strings. For the sake of this conversation and this example, let's assume that this row right here, this row of nine panels is the one that we're going to talk about. Let's also assume that these are 30 watt panels, and that's just to aid in the math. We've got nine panels at 30 watts, or I'm sorry, 30 uh, volts each. Wattage is uh, not relevant in this equation. So we should be putting out 30 times 9, 270 volts, right? And we're not getting 270 volts. We think we've got a bad panel. How do we find it? So the first thing you need to do, all right, let's make another set of assumptions. The far end down there is the positive end, and the end closest to us here is the negative end. And by that I mean all the panels are linked together, and we've got a long run that comes back here. It's obviously not the way the thing is uh, wired up, but again, for this uh, example, work with me on it. All right? So. In this uh, theoretical example, we've got the string of panels making a home run back to this box here. And inside this box, which I'm not going to open up because there's a lot of power in there at the moment, we've got the three strings that come in. And the three strings are made up of uh, three conductors. You've got a common, a ground, and a positive. For the sake of argument, let's refer to the common as negative. All right. It's your white line, it's your negative line coming off the other panels since those are DC. Uh, so here's what you need to do. You need to fly those lines. And by that I mean, at this moment, those two, li th those two power lines are making a home run to the uh, fuses inside the, uh, the combiner box here. By flying, I mean you need to disconnect them, back them out, and just have them floating in the air. So you've got your negative or your common and your positive just floating in the air. All right? Again, floating in the air. I said it three times. It's important. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take an amp meter or your, your voltage meter. You're going to put it on DC. And you're going to run from ground to positive and make note of that voltage and you're going to make a connection next connection from separate not simultaneously from ground to negative and make note of that voltage all right so you've metered from ground to the positive from ground to the negative all right and made note of the two separate voltages now let's go back here and I'll talk a little further about the numbers that you should have uh, uh, arrived at. When you metered from ground to, let's say, positive, you should have got a reading of about 270 volts, right? That's the power going coming all the way back across the uh, strings. On the other one, you'll get a different reading if you've got a bad panel. So if you've got a, on the other 
<coughs> excuse me, on the other uh, reading, if you have a reading of, let's say, uh, 90, what that means is 30, 60, 90, the fourth panel's bad. Got it? So the whole string, one reading will be 270, and on the other line that you metered, that will be an increment of your uh, panel voltage. So 30, because these are 30 watt panels, or I'm sorry, 30 volt panels, 30, 60, 90. We got a reading of 90, the fourth panel's bad, like I said. Does that make sense? I mean, it seems sort of straightforward to me, and yet uh, I've gone over this a couple of times. So again, to do this, isolate and fly your hot lines, and that's where the danger is because you've got a lot of voltage in there. Once you do that, meter between the positive and ground and the negative or common and ground. Write down both those figures, do the math, and the math is total number of panels times voltage of the panels and that should be one of the readings that you get and if you have a bad panel it will be that value that you got divided by your voltage and that number is the panel that's bad I hope that makes sense if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments otherwise do me a favor and subscribe to my uh, my channel and we'll talk to you later Shelka 04 out thanks